Bitcoin and the entire cryptocurrency market is again deep in the red. As yesterday, we saw huge news with Israel-Iran war sparking fear, not only in the market, but in the rest of the world. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what happens next. Is there the opportunity now to buy the dip? Is it that time to do that? Because many of you are asking this question, should we be buying? Should we be selling? What are the risks, rewards? Well, I'm going to tell you my own thoughts and opinions and my thesis right now. So if you want to learn that and you're interested, smash the like button, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And please understand I am not a financial advisor. Full disclosure, I hold the cryptocurrencies I'm going to speak about in today's video. And let's get into what I think is going to happen next. Now, you might be asking yourself because you might be new to the channel. Who is this guy, Joe? And why does what he's about to tell us have any merit? Well, I'm going to share with you later in the video how I've been able to time these markets and call them, document that, timestamp it, and be a profitable investor here with you in the last few years. Now, I've been crypto since 2017. I was one of the most followed authors on multiple other websites, one called steamit.com, and I've had quite a journey. So I've been a very profitable investor in crypto myself, and I'm gonna prove it to you in the video, and also teach you where we're going next and whether or not to buy, right? Now, I'm not gonna tell you whether or not to buy, I'm just gonna teach you about what I'm doing and what I've done. So you can learn from that, right? Like, again, you can kind of just learn the psychology here because that's really what you're here for, the alpha, right? You're here for the alpha. So what's the alpha? Well, go to Cointelegraph, look around. What do you see? Red. Bitcoin price was prepping for new highs and then all of a sudden it falls. Bitcoin dominance hitting all-time high. Solana is now prices slumping, right? You have tons of fear. The price is going down interesting psychology there. You also have people like Peter Schiff saying 60,000 is critical support for Bitcoin. A, dis, uh, a decisive break below that level will create a triple top. Um, the immediate downside is going to go all the way to 20,000. At this price, you know, uh, uh, MicroStrategy will have 2.7 unrealized losses. It's the fear right? This is it. This is what he wants. He can't wait. He's salivating. The bears are like, we're in. It's awesome, right? In reality, like right now we're on support and we're bouncing from support. Now, I will share with you what I think is going to happen next, but this is what you want to see if you're actually bullish because when people are bearish, you want to do the opposite thing. Trading is all about doing the opposite of what the market is doing. That's how you profit, right? If the market's pumping up like crazy and everything, and everyone's saying we're going to sky high, that's when you should be a little more cautious. <laughs> but the reality is when people are just starting to buy in. Now look, it happened to me too, right? I bought some cryptos, some meme coins. I had a couple that went to zero. They were scams, right? Like, I don't know if they were scams, but they just, my money got scammed, okay? Like in the sense of <laughs> I put in X amount and now it's worth X amount less, right? And that might've happened to you too. So let me teach you about this, right? The, the okay thing is, is like, look, that's never the goal of investing. But in reality, if you're going to play this game of meme coins and new speculative altcoins, you're going to have some winners and losers. Like you're going to have some that go to zero. It's part of the process. Okay. So understand that. Right. I think to myself, I'm like, man, I made some really bad decisions on these coins. And then I was like, wait a minute, but I made some really good decisions on some other coins and those are outweighing the other coins. So here's an example of that. Okay. Here's our $100 YouTube buys portfolio. We've been doing this over the last year. Okay. This is from 2023. We're still up $3,000 in profit over 120%, even with all these dips. That's crazy. And I'm going to get into some individual numbers here still, but like even look in the last seven days, red, 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 but look at us still green, 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 green. Why? because we've had conviction with our thesis, which is we believe that these coins, when we bought them, especially were undervalued, right? So if we still believe this, then we have to ask ourselves, was it overvalued now or is it still going to go higher? And we're gonna get into that in just a minute. So what are other people saying? Well, the news is telling you Solana open interest is shed by 440 million. Price is now slumped. In my VIP program, I called out Solana at $22. No joke. I'll show, I'll show you that in a second. But I literally called it out $22. I called out Bitcoin at lower prices, like $27,000 in that one video. I'm going to show you the video in a minute. But my point is, is that this is what like, <laughs> this, this makes me go, okay, <laughs> we're, this, is, this is an indicator. It's a sign pointing me to, yeah, maybe you'll see some volatility in the short run, but this is ultimately bullish signs. Bearish signs are when people are like meme p posting on uh, Twitter that they've made millions of dollars in meme coins. That's a bearish sign, <laughs> right? Because that's when everyone's thinking, oh, I could do it too. They jump in and then 
this is what happens. The market takes out 30, 40% in Bitcoin, bam, 30, 40, 50, 60%, 70, 80, 90% in some of these altcoins, right? So this guy, Ansem, if you don't know him, you're not following him. He is literally somebody who's been like one of the top traders in crypto. He's, I don't even know who this person is, to be honest. I just started following him, but I've been doing more research into like traders and like all the stuff myself. And he said, spot soul entry 128, stop at 85, target a thousand, take a chance, uh, Newsy Johnson. So this guy like has been very like spot on calling Solana trades. Okay. And that's why he like has been literally followed by over like 300,000 people right now. Right. He's got 300,000 followers. So he's just called the market very well for himself and good, good for him. Right. Like, like literally, um, congratulations to anyone who followed him and like made money with this guy and make you know, based on his calls. So this is his call, right? When the market was dipping all the way down to 128, he's going long and well, so far he's right. You know what I mean? It's at 140. Okay. So what he he's saying, look, here's, here's his thesis, right? My thesis is, uh, according to Anzum, a thousand dollars is the target. Okay. This is his target. So if you're down here, write it up there. Okay. This is what he believes is going to happen in the next three to six months, right? Like here's the, the chart. Okay. He thinks in the next year or two, this is where soul's going. So if you think that this is where it's going and this is still your thesis and we haven't even broke all time highs yet, right? Then of course you're going to post something like this and be bullish when everyone else is bearish, right? Like Peter Schiff bearish here. Okay. Everyone's thinking that we're going to go to 20,000 again. This is what you want to see. Okay. <laughs> so now what's happening? Okay. Here's the Solana price. What happens next? Okay. Here's what the, the data is showing us. Cause you're all asking, this is great, Joe. You know, I, I got to show you kind of more still where we're at in the market and then I'll teach you where we're going. So, um, and again, it's just a thesis. It's a hypothesis. It's never a guarantee. All coin seasons is now reset. It's at 33. It went all the way down to 23. Okay. This was when we were accumulating in the bear markets, when we made all of our calls, right? In 2023. Why? I recognize this. Okay. I saw this and I started building out our portfolio in 2023. Now you say to yourself, did you do that? Yes. Go look. 10 months ago, 20,000 views. I bought 80,000 Pepe coins, turn $100 into 1K. Well, let's see. Pepe coin, 80,000 of these is now worth $300. It's actually worth $400. We're halfway home. So you can go look on YouTube, go to the playlist, crypto buys, go through all of them and you will see my 2023 portfolio. Now, 2024, we only have like two buys right now. And I've been more selective with my buys because I kind of was, I kind of knew that we were overheated a little bit, right? I'm not like buying a bunch of the things in 2024 at the top right now, right? Because these two buys have not panned out to be very good. Like we're in negative profits here. Okay. So I'm not going to lie about this and be like, oh, well, you know, nice call, Joe. It's like, no, right? We are in the losses here for a few of these. Now, one of these, we're still slightly in some profits a little bit, but th this was harder to track. And like, we're going to get into more calls and buys in 2024. But right now, the entry points for spot are looking the best in 2023. So you can't go back there, but we will start buying now that we're seeing more bearishness. Okay. So now maybe in the future, you're going to start me seeing, Hey, look, I'm going to be, I'm going to be buying, right? Why? Because we got that reset. We got that flush out. Now we could go lower too. But in the next month or so, if we're going to continue with our thesis that we're going to go higher, now is the time to start accumulating if that happens. Okay. And again, I'm not the only one saying this. This guy believes that, yeah, you're going to dip like this. It's part of the game. It's part of what we're going to be doing here, right? Like, hey, look, we came here, we retested, and then ultimately we just end up trending higher. That's his thesis. That's what we're thinking, right? It's not a guarantee. So now let's get into why we believe this Bitcoin having countdown. Why do we have this thesis? The Bitcoin having is now about five days away. This is important because then Bitcoin becomes even more less inflationary. So basically, if you don't know about the Bitcoin having every four years or 210,000 blocks, Bitcoin's initial rewards will cut in half. It went from 50 to 25, then to 6 to 25. And then the next one is going to be only 3.125 Bitcoin for every block mined. So that means there's a supply shock, right? And the market knows this. And that's why it's bid up Bitcoin as high as it has, right? So you can see Solana has started to do well. But again, the altcoins haven't outperformed Bitcoin yet. It's not the season yet. It's not the time yet. Okay. Bitcoin dominance, which we're going to get into in a second, has continued upwards. Okay. You can see like Bitcoin has gone up, right? Because the, the market knew back here, 
Hey, by the way, we're a few months away from the having. Hey, by the way, there's a potential ETF. Hey, by the way, these are the smart people knowing this and they're willing to wait months in advance. They were buying in July. They were buying back here in February like I was, okay? And I'll show you proof of that in one minute. But this is, okay, th they front ran that, okay? You got to think ahead and you got to wait and be patient. That's how you win at this game, all right? <laughs> if you want to win, that's what you got to do. So most of you are jumping in here today, like, hey, let's get in now. This is great. It's at all-time highs. We're having a party. Wrong. <laughs> and then the market goes down, okay? And I could sense this coming. It's so funny. I was like speaking about this in the last couple of days. I'm like, ah, I can feel it coming. I just don't know. I just, I feel that we're going to get a dip. So that's where we're at right now, all right? Now, you might say to yourself, well, if you could feel this coming, why didn't you tell us, Joe? I did tell you. Where did I tell you? I told you in my VIP course and program right here, major warning, top signals in crypto starting to show, urgent. I said this right here, March 4th, 2024. Let's roll the clip for you so that you can watch this too and understand why it's so important if you haven't joined my VIP program to understand that I can't make videos 24 seven on YouTube. I wish I could, but reality is, I make these videos for you to understand the market so that you can best understand what could potentially happen next. So let's roll a clip of this video so you can understand the call and why I was so confident in this. To make a video today is March 4th, 2024. And we're starting to see some signs of euphoria. And Crypto Banter just made a video 20 minutes ago say warning to the crypto holders, get out now. Now, um, I haven't watched the video, but my same sentiment and feeling here is that we are a little bit, to say the least, um, overheated, right? So I'm starting to see signs and signals of what reminded me of tops in the last bull runs. Now, this could go higher. Bitcoin could break all-time highs. It's sitting at 66,000 right now, which is crazy. But we are in extreme greed, right? Like this is literally like extreme greed territory. So take that for what it's worth. We can hang out in extreme greed for weeks. We could have the craziest altcoin season of all time. Like these things can happen, okay? But when you see Shiba Inu pumping hundreds of percentages, Dogecoin, like the meme coins going crazy, Loki's up another 10%, Pepe's up like 600%. Like in the last seven days here, Pepe's up, I'm sorry, 300%. Floki's up, dog with a hat. Like when you start seeing this, this is not signs of, hey, these are great entries, right? Doge is up 100%. This is signs of, okay, we, we made our money. Now it's time to maybe take some off the table. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm just sharing with you. These are the signals of what we've seen before we get corrections. Now, there will be corrections in bull markets that will go down 30, 40% too for Bitcoin. So like, don't be surprised that if Bitcoin goes back down to like 48,000 or something of that nature, and then all the altcoins will go crashing down. So you need to prepare yourself for both sides here. Like we could easily revisit this level easily. We're way overextended. So this could be a triple top and we come back down before in the next year or two blasting higher. Like it could happen. Okay. So, but also we can keep ripping higher and go to new all time highs and surprise everyone too. Like that could happen too. Like this could be it. Like we don't know. So what I'm telling you in this video is to prepare yourself for both situations. Now, what have I also shown in VIP? Well, on October 10th, 2023, I made my top 10 altcoins I'm buying now for the next bull market. Now, I actually put this video also on YouTube, but let's just run through a couple of the numbers right now. What, what did I actually end up buying? I bought Bitcoin at 27,000. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see here, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but right there it says Ethereum at 1500. So let me zoom in on this for you. Okay. Ethereum's up at 1500. I ended up buying Dogecoin at five cents. Uh, right here is Solana at 22 cents. I know it's hard to see Cardano's at 24 cents. But again, if you join my VIP program, you can literally watch this video. It's in the first section. Cardano at 24 cents, Dogecoin at 5.9 cents, Shiba Inu at triple five zero six, which did a 300%. V chain at 1.6 pennies that went to two and a half pennies. Um, a chain link at seven dollars. Uh, polka dot literally at the low three dollars and eighty cents. I literally every single coin that I bought here has more than doubled in price, I believe. Literally every single coin at this time. 
That's why I've been telling you about VIP and all this stuff on YouTube for the last year. It's not just on YouTube, uh, on VIP, right? You're probably like, Joe, quit talking to us about VIP. I'm saying this because it's like, I gave it to you. I really, truly did. I've been sharing this information because I've been in this. I've seen this before. I know what happens potentially next, okay? It's a thesis guess. You don't know 100% with certainty in any market that you do, okay? But the reason why I'm sharing this with you right now is because, and why I've shared it with you too on YouTube is because I had this conviction and these are the results, right? Here's Shiba Inu again. I bought this uh, on with you uh, live. So here's Polkadot again, right? So like I showed the proof of all of this, it's all been documented. It's all here for free on YouTube. That's why I have this. I also run a business, okay? I'm a business person. I do this full time in order to keep the lights on so that I can make YouTube videos like this for you for free there needs to be some sort of income generation, right? That's why I have a business. I have multiple team members here that help me create these videos, that edit these, that upload these. All of this is for you, right? <laughs> I'm doing it for free. You get to watch this stuff for free. So again, the business part of this is that, right? So if you are interested, I may be closing enrollment for this very soon. And you're serious about this. I just uploaded like four videos this weekend, like not kidding about other cryptos, what I'm doing in the market and everything else. So let's get to the end of the video now. What happens next, Joe? That's your biggest question. What happens next? Well, what has happened in the previous cycles is what I believe is going to happen next because that's the data that we have. We're data driven on this channel. Have you ever seen me be emotional except for like maybe in, in this video where I'm just passionate emotion because I'm trying to help? Like I really want to help because I know how much it hurts to lose money investing. Why? Because I did it all in 2017. I lost like 70 grand. I lost, a, I got wiped out and that's a, a stupid coin that didn't make it. I, I, I learned those lessons, but I didn't give up. Okay. So if you're sitting there going like, man, what's this guy Joe talking about? Like he doesn't know that I just lost all this money and meme coins and all this stuff. Yes, I know I'm with you right in the market. Okay. When your, when your portfolio goes down, Joe Paris's portfolio is going down probably a lot more than yours. Okay. So here's what's happened. If you look at the previous cycles, okay, from December, 2017, right? All the way to October 20th, this is when the Bitcoin dominance rose, okay? When Bitcoin dominance rises, what happens is altcoin seasons and altcoins go lower. Why? Because all that liquidity is getting sucked up and going right to Bitcoin, okay? People are fearing that they're gonna, go, that they're gonna lose their money. So when fear happens, altcoins lose value. Okay. It's just what happens, right? People flee to the, the, the North star, which is Bitcoin, right? If the market's going to drop, Bitcoin's going to drop the least amount, right? So you're probably like, okay, I only lost 5% in Bitcoin, but my altcoins, oh my gosh, 30%. I can't handle that. So people are like, get out of there, go to Bitcoin. Okay. So this is what happens. Okay. You have this huge parabolic move in Bitcoin dominance. And then all of a sudden, bam, Bitcoin dominance falls. And then what happens after that is you reset Bitcoin dominance goes up and then all of a sudden, maybe it goes a little higher, maybe it goes to 60, 65, and then boom, it will eventually fall again. Cause this is what's happened. Up, fall, up, fall, up, fall, up, fall. That's how the pattern has been going. So what is next? Altcoin season. What is altcoin season? Altcoins can be interpreted as alternates to Bitcoin. Okay. That's what an altcoin is. It's every other crypto besides Bitcoin. Altcoins. Okay. These are cryptocurrencies except for Bitcoin. Now, many of them can grow by hundreds and even thousands of percent, which is what y'all want, right? But here's the thing. Altcoin season is largely a psychological phenomenon, right? And data-driven depending upon Bitcoin dominance. We recommend reading this amazing article. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire article, okay? But there's lots of different factors that let us know whether we're in an altcoin season or not. There's a lot of different factors, okay? Meme coins, fan tokens, DeFi, you have Bitcoin dominance, you have overall market sentiment, you have market cycles, you have all these different things. You have the Bitcoin halving, all of these different things mixed together, then will give you an idea of whether we're nearing a top or a bottom of a market. That's what you're trying to time, right? You're trying to, as an investor, buy low and sell high. That's it. We're all trying to do the same thing, but most people can't figure this out because they haven't studied it. They haven't put in the work and they haven't done the research, right? Again, this is all I do in VIP. I do all this all the time. I do the research. I make the videos. I post them here on YouTube. I post them in VIP. I've made a ton of more videos in VIP. I shared this with you. Huge warning. Okay. Here's the VIP program. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Here it all is. All the videos I've made already this year, plus all the videos that I've been making over the last three years, talking about what crypto coins, our VIP voice chats, everything is right here for you in the VIP program. Now this is the Millionaires Club, which is a subscription to the VIP program, okay? Which is what you want. You need both of these things and I'll, I'll share with you why in a second. 
but this is where we're heading is all coin season. That's what you want to know. Okay. Now, how do you, how do you win? You want to win at crypto, right? This is what you want to do. Okay. You want a portfolio to look like this. You want to be in profits, right? You want to be in profit. You want, you want your portfolio to drop down and you're not sweating it, right? I wasn't sweating this portfolio. I wasn't selling like crazy. I wasn't like, what's going to happen next, right? You want to win in crypto. Let me teach you how to win in crypto. I've been teaching it for you here for free on YouTube for multiple years. You got to get in early. You got to time out the cycles. Then you got to take your profits. And then you have to understand how everything works, right? It's kind of like exercising, okay? If you've never gone to the gym and lifted weights before, you probably have no idea where to get started. And you're probably pretty skinny. Like I'm a pretty skinny guy, but like I have some muscle to me because I do hit the gym, right? So if you've never been to the gym before, and you want to start like building muscle, right? AKA building gains, get some sweet gains in the gym and in the portfolio, right? But you've never been to the gym before, you're going to have to learn what a dumbbell is. You're going to have to learn what a bench press is, how to squat, how to do all of the, what is a DEX? What is a decentralized exchange? Or what is a crypto portfolio? What is an altcoin? You need to learn all these things, right? That's why I have my programs here, okay? I teach you all of this here. There's a whole fundamental section in the VIP program. It's all about fundamentals, how to buy crypto, how to trade your crypto, how to earn passive income with your crypto. It's all there right now. Like literally it's sitting there for you to watch. So if you like videos like this, it's right there. All right. Now, <laughs> the reason why I'm sharing this with you again today is because I think, and my thesis is, is that if I'm right about this, and if I've been right over time here, buying all the different coins again, right here, look at this. I bought Solana right here, $16.90, live on YouTube nine months ago, okay? I made a video, it's right there for you. I think I'm gonna be more right than wrong in this next bull run. And maybe, I, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I'm making no promises here, but if I'm right, you're gonna be happy that you stayed here on YouTube and you started studying and you kept learning and you kept educating yourself. Just like going to the gym. Gains in the gym don't come overnight. Okay. They take a lot of hard work, time, energy, effort, and sweating. All right. You got to put in the work. Now, most of you are, just want the quick gains and you want to be a millionaire overnight. And I'll tell you this from being a crypto millionaire. I've been at this. I've lost all my hair almost. It's been years, but I'll tell you this today, even with the market dipping and everything else, I am a crypto millionaire and it's all because of the work and everything I shared with you here. So if you want to be a crypto millionaire, you got to put in the work, got to research, you got to study, you got to learn. And I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to show you the facts and those are the facts. Just like you want to hit those gains in the gym, you got to put in the work. There's no reality where you sit around and eat potato chips and you don't, and you gain muscle. It don't work like that. If you enjoyed this video, it's been raw and real for you and you've really liked it. Subscribe, keep coming back to the channel. Greatly appreciate all of your support. And I really do appreciate you being here. More is coming here from me. A lot more crypto altcoins and projects and a lot more awesome content. Thanks for watching.